All right, one more thing here before we m move on. Did you yeah. catch Don Stewart this week? I did. All right. Did you, uh, did you watch it? I did. I did watch it. Um, I found it interesting that um, he is <laughs> he made no one happy um, after this after this show because he's doing what he did eight years ago, which is basically going out. You know, in 2016, he was talking about how bad both Trump and Clinton were. Now he goes on, and the first thing he talks about is how bad Biden is as a candidate, and then how bad Trump is as a candidate. Again, your politics are your politics, but he uh, was entertaining, but he's getting it from both sides now. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I did see a number of people giving positive reviews. You know, I yeah, did see a number certainly. of people saying like, oh, you know, it's great to see Jon Stewart back on our screens. Like, I didn't realize um, how I'd missed his presence as the host of this show. Mm -hmm. um, and I felt that, you know, I, I did enjoy it. And a mix of nostalgia and whatever at play. And I was entertained. Definitely. As the man Definitely. might ask. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. It goes in a different direction to start assessing the politics of it. You know, certainly I've seen criticisms because the bit was about the age thing, yes. you know, yes. primarily. And, um, I guess personally, I do share the worry to some degree, which is, I'll clarify, I'm putting political <laughs> cards on the table here a little bit. I'm not so much worried about Biden's age as I am worried about people being worried about Biden's age. Yes. So like, I can feel where some of those critiques are coming from, from the Democrats. Yeah. But at the same time, I just have to say like, you can't just tell people to shut up. That's not how it works. You know, you have to say John Stewart in his bit, it's fundamentally right. You have to actually do something to uh address it or get people to forget about it or or move forward, right? You can't just say, Oh, he's sharp as attack in all of our meetings, you know, as as, as Stewart quipped on the um on the program. Do you have video of that? Because maybe yeah, you exactly. should, you know, show that. <laughs> so he, I think he has a point. Um, I don't know what I think overall. It was really interesting. It was cool to see him back. And then I proceeded to not watch it the rest of the week. No. So and this and this is exactly what happened. They had their highest ratings in five years. It was uh I mean a huge swell of audience in that first day, which I presume it will be every Monday for the rest of this rest of this year. And then yeah, they get their, you know, their assortment of other other anchors, as it were, to to cover this show. And it's the rest of us just fine. You know, everybody's gonna tune in on Mondays.